I'm really enjoying this manga. I wish I could be as cool as this hero and save the damsel in distress. I'm Minato Shimizu, a high school senior and a nerd who loves manga. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I came across a girl who was crying and had her uniform torn to shreds. I wonder if she's okay. I can't just turn a blind eye to this. But what can I do to help her? Um, here are some of my pin patches if you want them. You can use them to pin your clothes back together temporarily. Uh, thank you. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is my station. Well then... Uh. I guess I'd been inspired by the manga I'd just been reading, but I acted in a way that was out of character. I wonder if she's okay. I'm home! What you doing reading manga again, Minato? Oh, Dad, you're back. Manga is great, but why don't you try and find a girlfriend? How can I find a girlfriend when I don't even have any guy friends? I know. Sorry, it was stupid to get my hopes up. Maybe in the future someday. I don't think I'll ever find a girlfriend. My father's hobbies were strength training and karate. He was the complete opposite of me. I was an indoor person. A week later, a new student arrived in my class. I'm Rekka Sonata, a transfer student. It's nice to meet you. Wow, she's beautiful. She looks like she could be a model or something. She's gorgeous. Rekka, you'll be sitting. We made it last. Yeah? I've been looking for you for a long time. Uh, I think you have the wrong person. No, of course not. I'd never forgotten you. This is destiny. Please. Please marry me! Uh huh? Uh, marry you? What's this about all of a sudden? Is this paper supposed to be... A marriage certificate? We needed to get married, right? Hey, what's going on here? Why would a beautiful new student be so friendly with a nerd like you? Oh my gosh, I'm still single and one of my students is gonna get married before me. Wait a minute, you've got the wrong guy. We'll talk it over and figure it out. Let's meet at the rooftop for lunch. Okay. On our lunch break, so, what's your answer? I'm not sure why you've asked me to marry you. We've never met before. Have we? Yeah, we've met. You helped me once on the train. Do you remember these badges? I'm pretty sure I used to have the same pin badges. What? You're the girl from that day? You finally remembered. I did give you those badges. But you look completely different now. There's a reason for that. What is it? I'm, uh, a victim of stalking. I wear glasses now and I let my bangs grow out so that people don't recognize me. I was exposed that day just before I met you, and I was attacked. Then I escaped on my own to the train, where I ran into you, and you were kind to me there. You're the man I'm meant to be with! Marry me! Marriage? Do you even know what you're saying? <sighs> no matter how I think about it, she's only making this strange decision because she's a victim of stalking and came across me when she was vulnerable. There's no way a girl this beautiful would actually like me. But I can't just leave her like this. Okay. I've decided. I'm so happy you're gonna marry me. I'm not gonna marry you, but I will protect you from the stalker instead. What? Thank you, but I'm not giving up on marrying you. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. I was sure she'd wake up when she was no longer being stalked, and then she'd realize what a jerk I was. I liked the idea of saving a woman like the heroes in the manga that I read. 
On the way home that day, I became Reika's bodyguard. Reika, it's so hard to walk when you're so close <laughs> to me. But I feel uneasy when I'm too far away from you. Okay then. I, I guess. But... Oh no! Her big something is touching my arm! I don't know what to do! Watch out! What? Are you okay? Yeah, you're so kind to me again. I'd like to say it was nothing, but I did as best as I could. I love you. Oh, gosh dang it! She's so cute! Don't get carried away! She's only like this with me because she's being stalked. I shouldn't get my hopes up. She'll probably leave me once everything is resolved. Then, I managed to get Reika home safely. Thanks for bringing me home. Let's do it again tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Dang it. That guy. He's all over my Reika-sama. I'll show him. It had been a few days since I started bodyguarding Reika, and I still hadn't come across anyone who looked like a stalker. La 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 la. You look like you're having fun. Cause I feel safe when I'm with you. It's fun to be around you. Let's stay alert though. Okay, I understand. Jeez, Dad! Oh, hey Minato. You're walking arm in arm. Is that your girlfriend? No, <laughs> you idiot! Don't be shy. I finished work a little early today. It's nice to see you with a girl. I feel relieved. I told you, she's not my girlfriend! Hi, sir! I'm sorry it's taken so long for me to meet you. I'm Rika, Minato's fiance. I know I'm probably not the best person for him to marry, but I look forward to getting to know you. Your fiance? <laughs> not even just your girlfriend? Minato, when did you become such a cool guy? No, no, she's not! It's a misunderstanding! I explained the situation to my dad. Actually... I see what you mean. I understand everything. I'll help you out. Thanks, Dad. And... <clears throat> Here's some advice from your father. What is it? You're not popular, and you'll never have this chance again. Make sure you get married to her. Hey, you haven't understood anything! I'm trying to make her come to her senses. Rika-chan, if you want to come over to our house sometime, you're always welcome. Oh, you don't mind? Hey, listen to me! You idiot! I'm very strong and I practice karate. I'll teach Minato some self-defense techniques. Thank you so much! No! <laughs> How could you do this to me? The next day after school, my dad taught me self-defense thoroughly. Look, look, your arm is coming down. Give me more power. 91. Uh, 92. Uh, I'm dying. You can do it, Minato. Uh, 93. Take your top off. I'll wipe your sweat for you. Wow, you don't have to do that, Reika. I do! You'll catch a cold if I don't! <laughs> Thanks to your daily visits, your punches have gotten a little better, Minato. I'm sure you'll be able to take down an insolent stalker with ease. If you run into one, be brave and do what you've been practicing. Yeah. Okay. My dad gave me a spirited pep talk and I walked Reika home as usual. Thank you for working so hard for me today. <sighs> I'm sweaty. Don't get so close to me. It's embarrassing. No, it's fine. You smell really good. You're kidding, right? I love you so much. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <sighs> what you doing flirting with my girl, Reika-sama? Help! Minato! You can't help her. I'll beat you to a pulp! I'm scared, but I have to fight. Just like the hero in a manga, Fureka! 
Thank you, Minato. Don't ever stalk her again! I... I'm sorry. I understand. The stalker ran away and Reika thanked me. I thought the altercation was strangely easy to deal with. You're safe now. You won't need me to be your bodyguard anymore. I don't want that! I want to be with you forever! I want to relive the feeling that I had on the train that day. You're the one for me! Marry me! Are you sure you want to marry a nerd like me? Of course! You are so cool! You've been like a hero for me every day that I've been with you! I'm so glad we're alive! Me too. I thought that once the stalker was vanquished, Reika would come to her senses and leave me. But she stood firm. I skipped the step of having a first girlfriend and went straight to having a fiancé. You made me go through so much trouble, and you're still such a lousy puncher. But, never let go of your springtime of life. Protect Reika for the rest of your life, Minato. Ugh. Anyway, I'm really tired, because I've been outside Reika's house every night until captured the stalker. I did something a little sneaky, but I guess it gave my stupid son a little bit of confidence in himself. I had no idea what my father had done. I might have been a fake hero who just wanted to be like a manga character, but I wasn't faking my love for Reika. I'll protect her forever. <laughs>